Okay, okay, let's take a step back here. This is all starting off way too quickly. Hi guys, my name is Justin, and I currently live in Los Angeles, California. This is my friend Huey. He's a musician. He's the guy you saw in the very first clip. I would say we're pretty good friends. We hang out like two to three times a week. We've gone on a tour across the country, and we used to live together. I would say he's a pretty good guy. I've noticed when you're younger, adults like to tell you what you should and should not do because you need to look out for your future. Your future. Now, that's something I guarantee every single one of you has been told to think about. Don't do this. Don't do that. You're wasting your time. What's the point? How is this going to help you get into college? My answer has always been, I don't know parents loved hearing that oh and yeah let me tell you my, my parents loved hearing that i would spend every single weekend from eighth grade to junior year of high school sneaking into concerts so i could take pictures of rappers sorry it was fun in eighth grade all my friends were going to a concert in downtown chicago i myself did not have a ticket but that never really seemed to be an issue for me i worked my magic smooth talked my way through the show was for a rapper. The name might be familiar to you. His name was Huey Mack. Yeah, don't get caught red handed when you tell it lies. Cause you know what they say. Girl, fingerprints don't lie. So if you ain't seen your man in a couple weeks and he end up seeing my handprint on your cheek, you get caught. A few years go by, and the next thing you know, Huey is back in town for an album release party. I didn't have anything going on for the day, so my friends and I hopped in the car and drove downtown. I don't think I need to explain how I got in. Caught up in the moment, cheap tequila mixed with Corona. You say I hate you, I say I love you. You say you mind, why don't I trust you? We had our issues, so you moved out. Now I'm all alone in this empty house. Empty house. Thinking about a reason not to go and make a song. Are you out like you wanna go out and get fucked and party? Then wonder why you ain't settled with somebody. You get drunk and do drugs and then go to church. You ain't a good girl, that ain't how it works. You the worst, and that's exactly what I wish you. This time, meeting Huey was different. I was a little older, my baby face was starting to go away. Huey and I talked. I got to know him a little better, but that was really that. He went back to LA and I went back to my house in the suburbs. A few weeks go by and I get a message from Huey out of nowhere on Twitter. Just two words, wanna tour. I'm not kidding, I nearly shit myself when I read it. After spending three years of my life sneaking into concerts, Going on tour was like the holy grail in my eyes. It didn't even take me more than two seconds to reply, yes. I don't want to close my eyes. I don't want to fall asleep because I miss you, baby. And I don't want to miss a thing. Cause even when I dream of you. <laughs> hey, my brother. <laughs> my brother. Hey, turn this shit off, me. Don't know why. And I don't It was such an experience. Every day, I would wake up and not even know what state I was in. The feeling is just something I can't explain. It was all of my dreams all combined into one. I got to shoot a concert every single night and see places I would never have been able to see for free. I was living life. And the best part is, it worked out perfectly. The very last show of the tour was scheduled right before my first day of college started. After the tour, I packed up all of my stuff, hopped on a plane, and moved to Los Angeles. 
I can sit here and talk about how school is so great, how I've learned so many new things, how I've become such a well-rounded student, but let's be honest, you don't want to watch that, I don't want to watch that. Here's a montage of freshman year instead. Man, I loved that place. 1340. My roommate Oliver and I did some of the most reckless things living there. It was a jungle. A true jungle. Nothing good was happening in that room. Just hearing every single can't fall down. Let's take a picture first. Let's take a picture first. I just really want a beer. But the sad truth came down on us. It doesn't last forever. At the end of the year, the school kicks you out of the dorms and essentially says, good luck, you have to go home. And that sucked. I was having so much fun and right when it was coming to an all time high, we had to leave. It was so sad. I remember Oliver and I just staring at our room, thinking back on all the crazy things that have happened in this space. Yo, what the fuck are we gonna do? It's the end of an era. It really is. So sad. I will never forget this moment. Never. One of the nights right before I was supposed to go back to Chicago, I was at Huey's house just hanging out. We were talking about our summer plans and how I was gonna go back to Chicago. Just, you know, small talk. My mom gave birth to me on a wet couch. <laughs> and ever since then. Then right before I left his house, Huey asked me a question. You wanna stay here this summer? And just like that, my life completely changed. When people ask you things like, what do you want to do with your life? Don't be afraid to say, you don't know. You shouldn't know. Life is full of surprises, and that's what keeps it exciting. I got into college not because I had amazing grades, because let me tell you, I didn't have them. I got into college because I followed a passion. I followed this passion without an end game. I did it for no other reason besides that it was fun. Used to be so warm those days. I try not to remember. I got lost in the storm. My way. If I never snuck into concerts, I would never have been able to build up my portfolio. If I never built up my portfolio, USC would never have let me in. If I didn't sneak into concerts, I would have never met Huey. I would have never moved to LA, and none of this would ever have happened. How many times are you gonna say that today? What? How many times are you gonna say that today? Enough. <laughs> Yeah.